It was Hearts and Hooves Day in Ponyville, a day when ponies celebrate friendship and caring for one another. Now that'll show Miss Cheerilee how much we care about her. If it's for Miss Cheerilee, it needs to be perfect. Hearts and Hooves Day only comes once a year, after all. Sweetie Belle, Scootaloo, and Apple Bloom were busy crafting a card for their teacher, Miss Cheerilee. Glitter! It could definitely use just a little more glitter. Thank you so much, girls. I love it. I really do, said Miss Cheerilee. I have lots of good friends and wonderful students who care about me very much. I'm going to have an absolutely terrific Hearts and Hooves Day. We just wanted to let you know that we think you're the best teacher in the whole wide world. Miss Cheerily appreciated the card and how much her students cared for her. The Phillies wanted to plan a picnic, so Scootaloo found Apple Bloom's older brother, Big Macintosh. Scootaloo invited Big Mac to the picnic because she thought he was shy and might enjoy the company. Doing anything special for Hearts and Hooves Day? Nope. Sweetie Belle arranged the perfect Hearts and Hooves Day picnic with her friends. Miss Chair Lee's gonna have the best Hearts and Hooves Day ever! Flowers! Don't forget the flowers! Oops! I'm on it! The Phillies invited Miss Cheerilee and Big Mac separately, so it would be a surprise. Sweetie Belle thought Miss Cheerilee and Big Mac would become great friends on Hearts and Hooves Day. Any big plans for tonight? Nope. Beautiful day we're having. Yep. Hiding in a bush, the Phillies waited for Miss Cheerily to ask Big Mac to be her friend. But she didn't. Oh, come on! Later that day, the Phillies bumped into Twilight Sparkle on the streets of Ponyville. Twilight Sparkle shared a book with Sweetie Belle that was all about Hearts and Hooves Day. I don't suppose we could borrow that book for a little while, do ya? While looking at the book Twilight Sparkle gave her, Apple Bloom found the recipe for a friendship potion. The Phillies decided to mix up a friendship potion and have Miss Cheerily and Big Mac try it. A bright rainbow's glow. Stir with the Pegasus feather. Take a tuft of cloud. Sweetie Belle thought the potion might make Big Mac less shy and better at making friends with Miss Cheerily. We thought you two would be perfect together. To test it. Together. Miss Cheerily and Big Mac thought the potion was punch and agreed to try it. I suppose we should just humor them for a moment. This punch does look delicious. Yep. Miss Cheerily and Big Mac swallowed the potion and started acting very strangely. He's my schmoopy doopy sweetie weedy pony pie. You're my schmoopy doopy sweetie weedy pony pie. The Phillies started to realize that they had made a big mistake. 
Back at the clubhouse, the young ponies were trying to figure out what went wrong. What have we done? My brother's acting like a great A goofball. Reading from the book, they discovered that they had brewed a love potion, not a friendship potion. Maybe we added too much rainbow. Or maybe not enough cloud. Apple Bloom was concerned that Big Mac and Miss Cheerily might never act normal again. Great! We've not only turned Big Mac and Miss Cheerily into a couple of nonsense about income poops, we may have put all of Ponyville in jeopardy. <laughs> Luckily, Sweetie Belle read that the spell would be broken if the two of them were separated for an hour. If we can keep Miss Cheerily and Big Mac from looking into each other's eyes for one full hour, the love curse will be broken. Only an hour? Puh, we can pull that off in a second. The Phillies decided to separate Miss Cheerily and Big Mac by tricking them into planning their wedding. You take the first sip, Snugglebuggles. No, you take it, Schnoodle Dumplin'. Gosh, you two are so in love. The next thing you know, you'll be getting married. Miss Cheerily and Big Mac were still under the potion spell. So a wedding sounded great to them. Sweetie Belle took Miss Cheerily to the Carousel Boutique to try on dresses for the wedding. This one looks nice. Browsing dresses kept Miss Cheerily from seeing Big Mac for quite a while. Meanwhile, Apple Bloom and Scootaloo kept Big Mac busy by taking him shopping for rings. No, you know, something less shiny. Miss Cheerily deserves the best. They did their best to keep Big Mac from leaving the store before an hour was up. We still have 25 minutes. Big Mac snuck away when the Phillies weren't looking and bounced his way back towards Miss Cheerily. Shmoopy doo! Luckily, the Phillies had already dug a big hole in the ground to slow him down. One more minute and the spell will be broken! I sure am glad you found those shovels! Miss Cheerily heard Big Mac call for her, so she burst out of the store to find him. Miss Cheerily ran to Big Mac and jumped right into the hole with him. Are you sitting on a feather bed in a hole in the ground? Yep. Girls, can you explain why I look like I'm getting married at the bottom of a pit? When the dust settled, the filly saw that the spell was broken. But Miss Cheerily was confused. We may have given you the teeny tiniest bit of love potion. The Phillies apologized for causing trouble and for trying to make Big Mac and Miss Cheerily into best friends. It's up to every pony to choose that very special sum pony for themselves. No pony can force two ponies to be together. We should have never meddled in your relationship. Miss Cheerily forgave them and suggested every pony have a picnic to celebrate Hearts and Hooves Day.
Big Mac and I thought we'd have a picnic at the gazebo. Yup. The Phillies learned that it was wrong to think that Hearts and Hooves Day is about having one special friend. They learned that Hearts and Hooves Day is really a celebration of friendship and caring for one another. The End Ha, ha, ha.